UPS has the highest paid drivers in the industry. What up guys, I'm back with another video and today we're gonna to be talking about a company that's considered by many to be the best trucking company slash trucking job in the industry, all right? This company is a top tier company, premier company, cream of the crop. That company goes by the name of UPS. And today we're gonna to be focusing on two driver positions, the feeder driver position, as well as the OTR team sleeper driver position. All right, so look, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. All right, guys, so over the last couple of days, I've been watching a few different videos, watching different content creators who work for UPS in this position, feeder driver that is, talk about the job itself. But I ran across one video in particular where the individual presenting the information provided a ton of valuable information about this particular job position. And I'm actually gonna leave a link to that video in my video description so you guys can go back and check out the full video because that's where I got the majority of my information from. And so if you have any questions or concerns, I definitely suggest you go back and watch that original video by that feeder driver who presented the information. I guarantee you, you're gonna find a lot of information on there that can be useful for you if you're interested in taking on one of these positions, all right? So I also wanna state that this driver position or positions is strictly for the Chicago area, all right? You guys know when I do these type of videos, I like to pull one job posting and talk about one specific area because what I always say, the pay can be different, probably will be different depending on where you live, all right? It's no difference here. So today I'm gonna be talking about the feeder driver position and OTR sleeper team driver position in the Chicago area. So if you live in that area, the information I'm gonna share with you today is gonna be relevant to you. Starting out, if you guys notice the B-roll video playing behind me, you see a brown truck, you see a white truck. The brown truck is for the feeder drivers. A lot of the senior drivers are local. They pretty much run in those trucks. They're home every night. Typically those guys run within a 300 mile radius of the hub. They go out, they come back home same night. The white trucks are for the OTR sleeper team drivers. Those guys go out. They may be gone anywhere from three to five days, all right? They may leave out on Monday and come back on Friday, just so you guys know. Now, starting out as a feeder driver, you will have five days training. You will be on call for two weeks after training, all right? You will be on call two weeks after training. While you're in that two week on call status, you will be in the brown truck. All right, now, once you get done with training, once you get done with your on-call status, you will transition to an OTR sleeper team's driver. So I need you guys to understand that because don't think that you're gonna go to that particular location and you're just gonna be a feeder driver and you're gonna be home every night. That's probably not gonna be the case, all right? Again, like I mentioned earlier, those brown trucks, the local feeder delivery drivers that are home every night, those are typically for the senior drivers. So you as a new guy, you guys know how it is when you're the new man on the totem pole in trucking, you typically go on the extra board or you're on call, right? You're on call, you're starting at the bottom, kind of working your way up. Again, that's the process. Brown truck first, after your on-call duty status is over with, you're gonna transition to OTR sleeper teams. Also, UPS is unionized. So when the companies are union, they're definitely seniority based, all right? So seniority drivers trump pretty much anything. Now, starting out as a new driver, your starting hourly rate as a feeder driver is $30 an hour at the time this video was made. Now, this information that I'm giving you was updated in 2021. 
Now, if the rates have changed, I couldn't find any information on 2022 rates. So if anybody watching this video, if you are a feeder driver at that particular location and the rates have changed, definitely put it in the comment section. I'll pin the comment so it'll be at the top of the comment so people can see it. I'm just going off the rates that I saw, which was in 2021, but I still wanted to share it because this at least give you guys an idea on the amount of money you can make working for UPS as a feeder driver. All right. The starting pay rate for hourly is $30 an hour. The starting pay rate for the mileage is 71 cent a mile. All right. So for the OTR sleeper drivers, 71 cent a mile for the local home everyday feeder driver, $30 an hour. All right. But again, coming in, you'll most likely be transitioning to an OTR sleeper driver for some time. Now, when it comes to the bid runs, they have bids twice a year, once in April and again in October. When the bids come, you can bid on a run. Depending on what your seniority is, you may be able to choose another route, all right? Once you get a route though, that will be your same route. That's what you're gonna be doing every time you come to work. All right, so it's not gonna change on you until you get a new route. All right, so now that we got the pay out the way, let's talk a little bit about the benefits. Like I mentioned earlier, UPS is union. They also offer company paid benefits. So work for UPS, there is no cost to you for insurance, all right? Absolutely no cost, which is amazing in my opinion, <laughs> all right? You can't beat that. Free benefits. You also have a pension at UPS. Not only do you have a pension, they also have 401k. Now with the 401k, they do not do company match at UPS. Why? Because they offer a pension. And the pension is not bad in my opinion. It's actually pretty decent. Again, they have a pension insurance at no cost the insurance provider is blue cross blue shield if you're single the max deductible for the year for you a hundred bucks come on man where they do that at where they do that at if you have a family two hundred dollars now your dependents have to be your legal dependents can't be any outside dependents or anything like that it has to be legal dependents and they will ask for proof to make sure that those are your legal dependents, but the max deductible for a family is $200, which is still amazing, all right? Most companies you're probably looking at paying $1,000 on average for your max deductible for the year. So 100, 200 bucks, come on, man, you can't beat that. We took care of the benefits. We talked about the pension. We talked about the pay. Where I live, UPS is very hard to get on as a driver. Typically, they want you to work inside of the warehouse for a period of time, or at least for a package delivery driver. All right. I have a few friends that work here locally where I live, and they both have told me, look, you got to work in a warehouse for a period of time. Could be a year, could be two years. You just never know. All right. That's for a package delivery driver. I know we're talking about feeder driving and OTR sleeper drivers right now, but I just wanted to throw that out there. It's still a good job. One of my friends hit top scale uh, this year. He'll be at, I believe, 40 bucks an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Even the package delivery drivers, they do pretty well. Now, speaking of top scale, I forgot to mention this for the feeder driver and the OTR teams. So top scale or top pay doesn't kick in until you're with the company at that four year mark. At four years, you hit top pay for feeder drivers. The hourly top scale pay is $42. The top scale for the mileage rate is 95 cent a mile. So right under a dollar. Again, these were 2021 rates. If things have changed since then, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about UPS, man. I've seen a lot of different reviews on UPS. 
mixed reviews. I seen some good, some bad, but in all fairness, most of the negative reviews I seen about UPS was from the package delivery side of the business. I didn't see a ton of negative comments when it came to the feeder drivers, just being honest. Listen, you guys do your own research, do your own due diligence, like I say all the time. Let me know what you guys think about this position. Again, this is in the Chicago area. The top pay, the wages, all of those sorts of things could be different depending on where you live in the country. I want that to be clear. Again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the original video where I got most of this information from. I encourage you guys to go check out that video. The guy presenting the information provided a ton of information about these two job positions. I think it's worth checking out. Listen, let me know what you guys think about UPS. And until the next video, I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take care.